while since I've done this. I've been asked to do another skate flow and it's been a while. I haven't done any skating flows. I'm going to see if I can try to return to the scene of the crime, but not really. I'm going to take you on a journey to my Bayfront area. And I was there a couple of times already, but we're going to try it again and this time the car is not going to leave me. Or that's the plan anyway. Yeah, I haven't been out here in a minute, so I don't know if things have changed or how it is to get to where I'm going to go. They were doing a lot of construction at one point. And I don't know whatever became of that because I don't I haven't been out here since forever. But we'll see what it looks like. Oh god, what do they do? Oh, I hate construction places. I hate it when they're working on the roads. It's always so confusing. Maybe I should have gone another way. They're working on all the roads. Oh, they tore all this up. All this has been torn up like big time. Follow these people, I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, so now it looks a little normal. Yeah, look at all of that dirt and stuff. That would be cool to go down that on a bike. abandoned that last time when my car wouldn't start and I'm actually well I started working on that job someone else took it over they're gonna repave it all I wanted to do it so bad that it wasn't meant to be kind of cool. I didn't know they had this open. Let's just go in here. I was starting the flow. I'm starting it on the seawall. And I'm going to work my way down to the sea head, which is on the bay we have three separate floating island concrete pads with, you know, a long drive out there. 
I don't know how to explain it right. I've had them forever. Ever since I was a kid, I remember these things. And those were the places where you could go fishing, you could ride your skates. If you, you know, back in the day we had roller skates, so we would do that and ride our bikes and stuff like that. We'd go to the sea heads, is what we called it. That's a nice score for a girl. Fuck you. Shout out to Chiago Skater because he was mentioning that he wanted me to do a flow. And James Mackey too. What's up James? I'm dedicating this flow to both you guys. Passing the art center behind me. That's a pretty cool place. I got to play there once. Uh, my chicken music for an event that they were having. Today was kind of a gloomy day. Like it looks like it wants to rain, and I hear it's supposed to rain in the next couple days. This may be one of my last times I get to skate before the rain comes. Now I made my way down to this driveway or this, this concrete path that goes all the way around the entire place. But my GoPro was running out of batteries and I didn't know so I didn't get the whole journey. But it's all good because next time I'll go, I'll try to hit like all three of them, if I can. I felt like uh, riding my tube skates today. They have a lighter feel and it's harder for me to get used to them. I think that's one of the comments that James told me a while back was uh, he noticed my balance was getting better, but it really, it really wasn't getting better. I was just riding on my oxygen skates. I was skating on oxygen skates. They're heavier, and I'm just more used to that. I'm used to heavy weight. It feels more solid when I'm skating. I'm really not used to these lighter skates. I wanted to get carbon skates, but if they're, if they're light like these, then maybe I won't get them because I, I don't know, I'm more used to, it, to having a solid feel. All you little seagulls, man, they're, they're everywhere down here. When I was a kid, we used to feed them bread. I used to throw pieces of bread and they would go crazy. This right here, this area, is like the roughest part on this whole journey. This just has like a bunch of gravel and stuff thrown around. People can come down here and you can fish. I didn't really pan the camera to the side, but all that area, all that place, there's even like a bleacher set up there, and I don't know what that's about. I'm heading to the end of this journey where my GoPro just dies. I didn't get to go around Joe's Crab Shack, but it's on that side. Oh, and by the way, if you if you like the music that I'm playing on these videos, I'm trying to use my own music 
So these are songs that I've created under the name Cloudy Girl. And I have a SoundCloud. So all these songs are available for free. Uh, you can go to, go to my SoundCloud and you can pretty much find almost all the songs that I use. And if they're not on SoundCloud, then they're on Bandcamp. But most of them are on SoundCloud. And that's just my DS music with the... Uh, with a Nintendo DS, I use Core DS10. Yeah, I call it chip terror because it's not quite chip tune. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs>